fantastic because you can get yeah, concentrate on what's, yeah. what's coming. Yeah. What we're starting to see is that's not just uh, the fact that you can get people to move more, yep. but you can measure that because behind the scenes you can uh, bring it up. It's a really good way of measuring the quality of movement as well. So you've seen the UPDRs yep. do those yep. sorts of things. And we can actually measure a lot of those just using yeah. the pen. So there's no reason that you can't use this measure the movement skin. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, oh, right there, you can see how you're moving around. That's, that's your point. So you can also log all of that movement. So when you were playing the game, you could actually log the movement that, was happening, uh, that you were making. And we can play that back look at the quality of it. So each of those circles that are around there, it's actually picking that up, recording it. I'll just play this back here. So this is one we had earlier. You can see, you can look at the quality of that movement as somebody reaches up with now their left hand, right hand. So we can play this back and yep. bring this into the design of games. So for example, uh, it's one thing to get people moving, but can you get people moving but better quality movement yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, did you get did Newcastle generate the game themselves? Yeah. yeah. So this is, this is part of uh, three. No, this is uh, part of the Culture Lab. Yeah. Uh, who that group that Roshin you've, yep. you've just met, Patrick yep. Olivier, Dan Jackson, Guy Schofield, Madeline Ballum, and Mary Webster. Uh, so they came on board with myself, uh, Lynn Rochester and Dadaran Imperium. So it was a nice no, big team that collaborated and that's what we came up with. Uh, and actually, everyone that we tested, of the nine people with Parkinson's, they all said if this were, were available at home to use, yeah. I would use it. Well, that's even people who had never played games or video yeah. games yeah. before. Yeah. That, that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. That's really nice. And there's no reason that has to stay with just movement, stepping. Sure. You can potentially bring in speech pathology, you can bring in uh, cognitive games, puzzles, and other things yeah. that are just interesting for you. So it's the, the dual tasking that Lynn was talking about. Oh, well, you can yeah. see how that can build yeah. up. That's yeah. just stepping. Then when you yeah. start getting to avoid things, yeah. and as yeah. long as you don't do as Emma says and fall over. <laughs> <sighs> I know. Oh, well, she's <laughs> just talking about walking from A to B, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I suppose everything is different, you know, whether you're standing doing something or walking or sitting and standing, you know, all the, everything is, is, is yeah. different. But I remember when the Nintendo came out, yeah, and um, th this, this was just this research we funded or anything, just somebody I spoke to about four years ago, and she said that, you know, her granddaughter who got a Nintendo and she was using it, so just by standing there sort of, you know, doing whatever, playing tennis or whatever, she just found not only was she more flexible, but she could actually feel her balance getting better. And she would have been immersed and she would have exactly. wanted to do it. As exactly. opposed to yeah. a physiotherapist saying, I want you to do this ten times, three times a day. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You and go back going to them, yeah. have you done your stretches <laughs> and exercises? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah so like, have you done your homework? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so th this is uh, one way of motivating, but also being able to measure and unlike commercial games which can get very hard very quick, yeah. hopefully we can design these and tailor make them to a particular Parkinsonian system. Yeah. That's what we hope to do. Uh, and from the Innovation Grand yeah. from Parkinson's UK, that's what we've done so far. Oh, we, we're also able to see how accurate it is. Right. With three dimensional motion analysis and that. That's quite accurate. Good. Yeah, anyway, Bruce, I hope you. Okay, yep. I don't have you. The goal is.